Welcome back to Bristol Campus. About davening. Uh, anyone who goes through davening can see that it is so difficult to concentrate. It could be that when a person started davening, Shacharis, Mincha, Marev, that they were into the davening, they had a fire, they had a passion, they had an energy to, to connect to the words. But a person goes through so much afterwards in life, so many distractions, that it becomes almost impossible to daven. A person faces such unbelievable obstacles in the davening, like as if he, he tries his best and it still doesn't work. What to do then? So Rabbi Nachman's advice, Rabbi Nossin's advice, you got to daven to daven. If you can't daven the prayers of the daily sitter, so at least what you can do is ask Hashem to be able to open your mouth and open your heart to connect. As opposed to accepting, okay, this is how it is, so I'll just drag myself and continue davening lifeless. Like unfortunately so many people, they just say the words so fast and without any connection, even like initially they've given up on davening maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. As opposed to that, Rabbi Nachman's advice, Rabbi Nossin's advice, is to daven, just to, to ask Hashem to be able to daven. Rabbi Nachman reveals many advices on gaining concentration in davening. For example, what we've spoken about a lot lately, about hand clapping. Another advice he gives is by just focusing on the true meaning of the words, without any inspiration even. Just looking to understand what you're saying. All these advices, and there's much more he brings, are available. But the thing is, to do that advice itself, to activate it, there are also many obstacles for that. So what a person can do in the meantime is to keep on asking Hashem to open my mouth. Give me my mouth to be opened. They say about Rav Levi Yitzchak of Berdachev that for two years he went through a major test in his life in that he experienced no connection at all for his, with his davening. For a tzaddik of such a caliber to be able not to connect to davening, it was a killer, you can imagine, a killer for him. And he held on for two years just trying to say the words, minimal, just to say the words and to do his best to connect to them, even though it failed and it didn't work out for two years. And these are tzaddikim. Rabbi Levi Tzaddik Abedachev is not a regular guy. He's someone who's holding at a high level where their davening was full of of power and kavana, concentration, etc. So for someone like that, to be able not to daven is a big is a big setback, it's a big test. And yet he held on for two years, and then the davening came back to him. That's how it is. When you yearn for an item, eventually it catches up to you in life. So here also, Rabbi Nachman's advice is keep on davening, even if, even if it's dead, but at least tell Hashem, open my mouth, I want to daven, I want to connect to the words, because the words of the, of the prayer are so beautiful, that if a person has the merit to connect to them, he can reach a, a point in level where literally he wants to expire. His free will is taken away and he just wants to yearn and connect to God through the words. We should merit visit Hashem to reach that level where our prayers is not just like drinking, gulping down a cup of coffee, but it's with meaning, intent, power, and feeling the energy and the outcome of the davening also.